Welcome back. Daily Parsha Insight, page 141 in the Chayenu. The title today is self nullification for Self-Assertion. self nullification for Self-Assertion. We're going to focus on a verse in Parsha Sav, this week Parsha for Thursday, chapter 8, verse 14. Vayagish Espar Chatos. Moshe brought the sin offering bull. Vayismich Aaron of one of his yedem. Aaron and his children lean with their hands. Al roish parachatos on the head of the bull. The head of the sin offering bull. So that's the possible. Moshe brought the sin offering. Aaron and his son leaned their hands upon the head of the sin offering bull. The person offering up a sacrifice leans with both both hands upon the animal in order to demonstrate he wants to show that through the animal he is giving his entire being over to God through the animal he is giving his entire being over to God it is therefore interesting to note that this act was the first one that Aaron and his sons performed themselves during the installation ceremonies until this point they were passive passive objects of the rites that Moshe was performing the product the paradox was that the first act of self-assertion was one of self-nullification what does it teach us this teaches us because leaning, we said, is giving yourself over to God. The first act that they now, are the installation ceremony is now they're taking over. What do they do? Giving themselves over to God. The first act of self-assertion was self-nullification. This teaches us that by giving ourselves over to God, we are not turning ourselves into mindless autonomous or a robot. On the contrary, giving ourselves over to God frees us, frees us from the bondage of living up to the dictates of materialism and keeping up with the latest fashions in all areas of physical, emotional, intellectual life. Thus liberated, once you are liberated from all the surroundings, we can express our true, most individual selves as we play our unique role in fulfilling the purpose of creation. Self-nullification for self-assertion. And uh, with that, we'll go to the section of Geula that can be found on page 145. Also speaks about chapter 8, verse 3. Assemble the entire community at the entrance of the tent of meeting. If the arrival of the true and complete I, arrival of the true and complete redemption depends on the Torah, prayer or tshuva, bring Mashiach, it depends on Torah, prayer or tshuva. Are there many, are there many, or rather, are there not many Jews toiling? in study and prayer? Are there not many Bali Tshuva, those who repented and did Tshuva? What is lacking? What is missing is the focus. The correct things are being done, but not with the intention of bringing the final redemption. So from this, we learn that everything that you do has to be permeated with the understanding that what you are trying to accomplish, then your intention is bringing the final redemption. So assemble the entire community at the entrance of the tent of meeting. The term hakel, assemble, means to bring jury, to bring the Jews together as one man with one heart. For united purpose. What is the goal that we must all strive for as one? This is so applicable to our time. The entrance of the tent of meeting, meaning the arrival of the third Beis Amikdash, 
The redemption depends on Hakil. Jewry must be assembled around one single goal of bringing the redemption and each person's Torah, Tshuva and good deeds must be assembled around this entire, this central goal of bringing Mashiach. This uh, was taken from uh, the book of Chaim Vesholem. So, it's, what are we missing? You're doing, uh, there's so many Jews who are learning Torah, there are so many yeshivas, there are so many synagogues who are praying. So many good things that are happening. How come Mashiach is not here? So according to Chaim Vesholem, what we're missing is the intent. The intent that we have, that we have to have inside, inside getting closer to Hashem, uh, uplifting our environment, all it's beautiful. But the main theme is to bring Mashiach. And Lubavitch Rebbe repeatedly asked that this should be our focus with a famous statement, Ad Mosa, until when, that uh, with all the accomplishment, with all the good things that he did, he said, I I'm still feel like I'm still missing the main thing and I need your help, each and every one of us, to bring Mashiach. And the way to bring Mashiach is first of all to uh, to anticipate Mashiach, to wait for him. How do we anticipate Mashiach? That everything that we do has to be permeated with I'm doing it to bring Mashiach. I'm, bring, I'm doing it to, to, to bring the world closer to Mashiach. Buchim to you. And uh, we'll have another short video on Ein Yaakov. See you shortly.